Here are the strange blood vessels, as we are in the area dubbed Five Pebbles. Hey there, one SoCal playing, um, Rain World. Playing as the Gourma, our chunky little friend who has reached a spot that is, uh, this area that has no wait and no time. And yeah, so yesterday, near the end, is when I realized that little f mushroom on his HUD is flashing. Is I'm thinking it could represent a craving of some kind. So it's a little unfortunate that this happens in a location where I'm unlikely to find much of anything related to that. That's fine, I'll encounter many more mushrooms throughout my journey. I'm sure of it. But yeah, we're in this place. Uh, weightlessness has its own challenges. Gonna be moving around and doing crazy stuff. There's still gonna be plenty of danger. As we try to navigate mostly upwards. There's like two or three nests on the way. You know, so we might split this between two or three tries. Ugh. But yeah. Ugh, dude. Oh my god, this is somewhat unpleasant. Oh, there is a bar up there I just saw. Okay, I see. So don't aim for the door itself. Why did you go in the diagonal? I didn't mean to. There we go. Then you attach to that. Yeah. Movement in, um... Oh, I... Did I misunderstood where the entrance is? I sure did. I, to me, it looked like the entrance was... On the side of it, not underneath it. But, uh, yeah. So, hi. This is what we're doing. Let's go straight up. Why is this being a problem? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I remember mostly going up, but it's been a while. I don't know if I remember the details all that well. Yeah, and we got... Little neurons. Delicious, and it's added to your memory zone. And now, henceforth, you will glow. See, we can see that delightful, helpful glow all around you. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to encounter, but this is probably the safest way to handle this. Through the machine. Yeah, those worms are harmless. I reckon. So I can chuck an object to help me propel myself. See, like that. I can do that. Whoa. Well, I guess I'll just eat you. Yummy, it's blue. Go grab the stick just so I have... Ugh. Yeah, just, you know... Oh, boy. Uh, this is the worst thing. Get in there. There we go. Alright, we're in the fun tube. The tube for fun. It's just moving a light in places, too. It's quite a time. All right, there is a lot of drifting objects everywhere, actually. Yeah, this is just like, it looks scary, but it is purely harmless, uh, in my experience, which, you know, might not be all that accurate. Drifting in space. And like, <laughs> like, yeah, the slug cats have some form of intelligence, clearly. But, like, I cannot imagine how just completely freaked out one would be in a situation like this. 
Like, I don't know how old the gourmand is, but this is a brand new experience. It has, like, nothing to do with anything in their past lives. I am... I am not fed enough. I have not found enough food to be able to go up there. This might not have been the path I wanted to take. There's an up here and a big mold. The whole thing is mold. Oh yeah, this is the one where gravity works sometimes. I have no idea how I'd make it past that. Like, that just looks impossible. Uh... Guess I'm just gonna throw myself in? And then, you know, it's like, okay, well, here we are. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. What? Whoa, boy. Okay, you know what? This is acceptable. Okay, I mean, it looks like mold. It's textured like the living mold. But, like, it's not actually, like, attacking me. Like, I can just exist all around it. It's very nice of you, I guess. So... I'm gonna rid this and I'm just gonna keep the stick. I'm trying to see if I can, like, rip off, like, a... a bulb of blue or something. To see if I can eat it. But, uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, that's the sound when gravity comes back. This is wild! Uh, this is, like, completely different. Just waiting for the gravity to go. Oop. There we go. We. Uh, is there a way to go from here? Like, I am not seeing it. Oh no, it still goes up. Okay, sure. Going all the way here. Fantastic. Oh, we're, and things are getting a bit more mazy again. As we want it. I mean, I don't know... Where is where? Oh, did I get eaten by? Okay. You can still get eaten by a sidewall, though, so... Mind that! Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, there's, a uh, Like, one more food unit here. That's just not enough. Really? All right, well, I got down the tube slightly too much. Guess I should die. Oh, dang it. I was trying to eat this flower, but instead I regurgitated the red fern. Not a uh, good use of my resources. Just gonna go ahead and say it. Okay, I don't think there's anything here I can grab to eat. Oh, come on, really? I, like, I didn't try to go for that angle. Oh my god, this game. I need food, and there's just no food going up, so... Like, I'm not gonna take a path that doesn't give me enough food between... Literally not enough food between here and the next nest. Like, the food just does not exist. Like, as much as I want to keep exploring that peculiar, like, gravity, weird, super mold place. Like, it looks genuinely interesting. But 
you do not give me like the resources to survive there very well. Here there's a few more. Alright. Uh, so I guess maybe I could like go he go here and oh boy. I okay. You did not understand my attempted takeoff here, and that's fantastic. I'm just gonna drift into nothing. It's all good. Although, if I can get my full here... Dude, how'd you miss? How'd you miss? Stop missing the food! Okay. Nice. Uh-huh. Alright, you know what? I can, like, grab these, and then I can double back and return to the... I'm dying. Yay! I love this place. I need to propel myself with such force. And because of that, of course, I deserve death. I'm really... Tired of this. It's ugh, whatever. That's all I tried to do last time. Really? That's not within reach? How are none of these within reach? around. I'm gonna return back to where I was going the first time, except this time, you know, there's still a few more neurons I can eat. And, uh, I'll be actually be able to stay in the nest before the gravity zone. This is fine. Like, as long as I don't... dawdle, these are relatively safe. Okay, and this time we can actually go to bed and have ourselves a proper save. I'm gonna keep playing. It's probably a bad idea, but I wanna keep playing. <laughs> I've been playing for half an hour not now, but you know what? I'm like, no. I, I don't feel that. Hey, gravity's back. Here we go. Just in time for a snooze. Because I feel like a lot of this I can just safely edit out. It's trying to feed myself and dying. It's uh, not the most exciting. Whoa, we're just rumbling here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find any mushrooms here, buddy. Here, the whole feeling gets very different, where it's a wacky little platforming world. 
And uh, yeah, I just died because I was looking at the map and I didn't realize I was drifting, drifting ever closer to what is death walls. Walls that will kill you. But you know, yeah, like it's all, you know, very much like the, the slime molds. They're just like embedded in the, whoa. Whoa! Ho ho ho. Okay. They're just, yeah, embedded in the... The walls themselves. A little something. That... Mm, holding up, holding up, holding up! Fantastic. Like, where do I throw myself? Cuz, like, that's just what happens! Like, here-ish? The idea being I try to stay m the most possible in the middle. Yeah, and latch on to these things. Oh, please don't die. Thank you. Alright. From here, I need to go into that corner. From there, I'll be able to continue. Like that. Hey, that worked out! Alright, alright! Okay, so, I just had to be smarter. And this is where I died. Right. Right. Because I was like, okay, where are my exits? And I kind of struggled to find anything, and the, the wall will kill you. Alright, let's go here. This is a pathway I can take. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not dead. This is safe. This is safer than it looks like. I don't know how, <laughs> but it is. Oh shoot, uh, he started drifting before I could press jump, so I guess this is, this is fine. Not a whole lot of food I'm finding, and that's a little scary. I hope we get a whole bunch of neurons at some point. Jump, why are you not jumping? You know what? Not where I expected to go. No! Why did sh Why? Why? How? None of that motion made any sense! Big red light. What? That never did that!
this tendril is nice and comfy. I could just go up, but I don't know, this is the safest way, I think, to go. Okay, I guess we're going straight up instead, eventually, maybe. <laughs> oh boy. Different path, maybe this is going to be friendlier. It's a bit less filled with super death. Woo. Yeah, I want it to go up, I think. Like, this is relatively tame. Just waiting for the gravity to gravity. Or, well, to stop gravitying. Alright. Hey, look at that! We're in memory conflux now. I got food I can eat. Now that's a language I understand. Uh. Another one in you. I will eat everything I can, because I don't know how rare or common they're going to be. And this is a pretty safe room, all things considered. Like, this is just it. Like, this is just... This is what this is. That's it. Enjoy yourself. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Uh... There doesn't seem to be more. I mean, like, will any door do? I'm trying to go to the one in the middle. Because it's kind of annoying to get, so it's probably important. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, I don't know. Like, I... <sighs> right, having done that, I can do that, I can do that. So, like, these are scary, but, like, they're not dangerous. Also, there's a bunch of neurons here to eat. World's best salad. Here we go. Uh, they'll sim right into your maw if you let them. I might as well fill up our billies. Because I don't know, again, like, when I'm going to have this opportunity again. I, I don't want to do anything too risky, though. Alright, you know what? If none of them are gonna come to me, that's fine. I'll let them be. There's gonna be a ton more here. Just like all the neurons you could ever want. I'm full! Full of knowledge! What am I holding? I'm holding another one of those. It's gonna be a Valentine's Day gift. I don't know where I'm going, but there's one way to go. So. Go where? Oh, I I lost track of where I was. I thought I was my shadow. All right, so this will do. Just it. Uh, uh. All right. Thank you, flower. Oh, did I just do a loop? No, this is a different room. It just looks the same. <laughs> Sweet. 
Those are the best. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. No, no. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, if I threw you, yeah, you're not gonna get me anywhere. That's a sound effect you don't want to hear. Or it's just a door opening. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have a sense of where I want to go here. Oh no, I destroyed the weird grid. I thought it was like a digital map. But clearly it was a physical object. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, this is such a cool depiction of just something that feels otherworldly and strange, you know? I believe those are harmless. Relatively speaking. Yeah, I cannot use a uh, neuron as propellant. Oh no, there's a slappy! Slappies are dangerous. Oh, those loud sounds though. Those are... Those are a bad time. No loud sounds, please. I mean, at this point, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, accurate. Alright, we're just gonna go right through. Yeah, minimal interaction that we can have. Alright, well, uh, pretty linear here, alright. It's been nice seeing you, bony tentacle tendril thing. Oh, we're in the computer part! General system bus! We're on the bus! Yeah, I remember this. This is just such cool imagery. We are in a computer. This is what it looks like. On a voyage. I have no concept for. Don't worry about it. Do not. It's gonna be pretty loud for a hot moment. That's okay. Just soar, fly, and ignore the hole in the code that the tendril is creating. Cause you don't know what that means. Oh shoot, I'm going backwards. I, I need to be more proactive, I think, about using my spear to guide me where I want to go. Over here! In between these veiny pipes. Oh wait, we're here, isn't it? Isn't it just going down there? I remember the voyage being a lot longer. Maybe the terrible mole path is just like harder but shorter. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the heart. Eventually, <laughs> I'll find something I can use to get myself down there, and I will meet the Buddha. Maybe. If we are so lucky. Uh, 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 alright. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! Boink! Hi! Oh! Oh no! You can lift me up so easily! Oh jeez, that was... and there we go. I am gifted the gift of language. Gluttonous beast! What brings you to my chamber? Like no other messenger before you. Perhaps I am just made the ability of your kind to communicate my existence? I may have been too rash in bestowing the mark of communication upon you. With the recent traffic through my structure, however, I would hesitate to believe that it will be my last encounter with your kind. Keep doing this, is what they're saying. 
I prefer to discourage further visitation in the future. I have long since placed the outer perimeter of my facility grounds into lockdown. The more and more creatures like you can need to manage to find a way inside. You have the same problem as everyone else, from the micro and the presenting strata to me, who is if you soon got like reason. Want a way out, however, you particular Rotundness might well imply how little you seem to care. A simple animal ignorantly accepting its existence. I intend the purpose will be much help to you. I can however encourage you in your kind to leave my facility ground. So just leaving the place creatures from getting in will now prevent you from getting out perhaps the strategy was ill-conceived after all you hecked up the buddha allow me to just <laughs> uh, sweet map of the world there very understandable <laughs> what Oh, 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 I recognize this. Okay, okay, okay. So just get out of here. All of you, out, 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 out. But no, so do you remember when I went, when I got to Sep the Decepteranian? Oh no. Um. I, you know, the place with the trains. I want one of the unique bubbles. Uh, uh, uh. Can I not grab them anymore? I got one. When I got to the. Um, when I was in the Subnarian. Like, you will. Dang it! I'm trying to make you swallow. This pearl for later. There you go. In case I meet another uh, squirrel. But yeah, so like, there was a train, and I met a gate that had a big, like, does not work sign. And I was like, oh, well, that's probably for uh, the DLC. Well, yeah, go west, go west, go west, west, west. But instead of going deep, we keep going west, and that gate is gonna be open to us. And we saw the image, it's not gonna require, like, any karma at all. Wait, yeah, did he increase my karma? Okay, I am the karma of I. So I am also in weird karma, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah, my trip through this place ended up being a little shorter than I expected, but again, I think it's because I took a harsher, but much shorter path, which, you know, makes sense. So yeah, we are... Getting closer to where gravity is. We're starting to see these fun signs here. We really do like a look a lot like at, like they look like both uh econo like eco <sighs> religious iconography and also just like commercial posters or like sports posters and stuff. I love it. But you can see the symbols of the fate, the levels of the fate on, on them. But they're just so colorful. There we go. Oh man, go west. So west, we're gonna go west through Birdland. Uh, through the royal court of the giant rabbits. And uh, whoa. Oh, and here's a nice popcorn plant for next time. Great. Great, great, great. Maybe we'll find some mushrooms. And yeah, so the split path is going to be like right at the end, basically. At the last section, we're going to split off there. Alright. That makes sense to me. Oh, you only get two additional karmas. You only get off and on. That's it. You are not a holy beast. But you were given... At least a nudge. 